Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just back with another video. I know I may look a little crazy. I've actually been at work all day and y'all know I normally film my videos at night. So it is late. So I decided to come back to y'all with the video. So, all right. Not trying to make this a long intro, but I kind of have to explain this really quick before I get into the video. I have talked about this on live, but um, I know a lot of people don't tune into my lives and some people, they have no clue. Okay, so I'm just going to give you all a rough breakdown before we get into this video. I am bringing this new series to my channel called the Beauty Supply Store Series. Y'all know back in the day, we all used to buy beauty supply store here of course it was the rave before like this whole version thing came about normally um only like the big celebs wore like the lace wigs and the virgin hair stuff and we were still with pack hair and half wigs and stuff you know what i'm saying we all know we all know but now it's kind of it has changed significantly so um now people are trying to get the look and someone some people cannot afford it or they just want something cheaper or they want to see like i get x out of time Aaron, can i get that look but can i get this can i just go get a regular wig at my local beauty supply store or just a cheap wig off sam's beauty and can i make it look good and i just want you all to see that yes it is possible to make it look good so i am all all the items in this series is going to be purchased by me okay you know, unless like, I don't know, someone wants to send me a wig that they've seen sitting somewhere or whatever the case may be. But so far, it will, all of it will be purchased by me, not sponsored whatsoever. Um, and I'm just going to be buying some stuff and I have bought some stuff and I'm very excited about it. So I'm just going to be buying things along the way. I've been in a lot of different beauty supply stores and just we're just going to look at them. We're going to try them on. We're going to test them. And we just going to, I'm just going to show you all that a look could be achieved or if a look can't be achieved we'll see that too because <laughs> you know we show trial and error over here on this channel so i really hope this series does good and i hope it kicks off because um and the only way i'll know that is if you all comment and you all like this video and let me know how you feel about this series let me know about how you feel about this video um who knows maybe this will be my only one or maybe i'll continue it just all depends on how my audience feel how you all feel about the videos and what you all think about the videos okay but me personally i'm so super super excited about this okay and no 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 i'm not saying i'm the first one who came up with this and i created this idea because i did not okay but i'm just saying one day i was just thinking you know this, about that this is something that i want to do and i thought it would be cool so anyways now that we're done with this view, we're going to get right into it, all right? So, I did pick up this wig. This is going to be the first wig of the Beauty Supply Store series, okay? So, this is the wig, okay? So, this is what she looks like. It's by the brand Model Model. I've heard people say Model, Model, but I think it's Model Model. So, it looks like this, all right? Now, a lot of the things that you're going to see me feature, I've never seen before, mostly because I don't get stuff out of the beauty supply store anymore so i'm going you're gonna hear me say a lot i've never seen this before if you all see it you'll probably say oh well such and such a video i've seen it here i've seen it there okay but i've never seen these week before i never tried i've never bought a wig from a beauty supply store except for like a half wig every now and again but a full wig no so this is what she looks like it is in the color well the style at212 okay uh the color so phony beer i don't know but that is what it looks like right there i wanted to get this particular color and style because of the summer okay i feel like it would really work so on the back i was really interested in seeing it, it's a lace front okay but i was very interested in seeing um if it was human hair or not it says human hair master mix i have put these wigs on other some synthetic wigs on other people's heads and blended wigs and things like that and i know most of these wigs have like hard lace on them so and i hate that hard lace but we'll see if this one has hard lace okay and some of them are super shiny and they just look terribly unreal but like i said we will definitely see if this wig is like that but um yeah it says the master mix I don't know, uh, maybe some more information in here to see cause, to see if we can maybe use um, a, a flat iron or a curling iron. And I'm kind of scared. I may not need to even try it or test it, okay? So, um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And we're going to go ahead and open it. So, we're going to open it together. I haven't opened it up for anything because I want you all to see what I see. Oh, and this wig was $40. So, we're going to see if it's worth the $40. How do you get that off of there? or like what's going on. So this one looks like all this packaging, I'm just gonna throw this stuff on the floor. I'm gonna just 
take that off of there okay and this weird thing is attached so i'm gonna find some some sort of scissors and cut that off okay so this is yeah i just kind of yeah this room look a hot mess it's okay so this is what she looks like wow this week is super super lightweight oh my gosh it don't even feel like i'm holding nothing so anyway this is what it looks like with the net around it we're gonna go ahead and take the net off okay get that oh i hate messing with nets y'all they don't be want to get off my head so we're gonna it comes with this i like the way this is packaged it's packaged like super 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 nice okay like super nice so this is what she looks like I love the color. These uh, particular tones look so good on my head. But this is what she looks like. Short, of course. And she has like these really pretty curls, okay? So let me show you all the top. That's what the top looks like. That's a decent amount of parting space. It really is a really decent amount. And it is supposed to be meant to be a side part and I can feel and I can already tell that this is that hard lace that I really don't like. But it's okay, we'll try to make it work. So this is the inside of the unit. Turning this side out for y'all. Okay. So this is what the inside looks like. Just a basic cap with your little bit of lace right there i don't mind that just as long as it's not like this much parting space i do not mind that that is very decently parted and this is what it looks like very neat okay neater than some of these other wig companies that i work with so it is neat and it's really nice and it has lace around the edges just in case you want to glue this down or what have you. And it does have some combs on the side, okay? And also adjustable straps right here on the bottom. I don't think that I'm going to be able to use those adjustable straps because it looks like, and I'm going to go ahead and take them off. It, look, it looks like this wig is small, okay? This wig looks pretty tiny. So I don't know. I'm a little nervous because my head is real big. So we will, and I have a lot of hair, as you all know. So we are definitely going to see how this baby fits. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So now I'm back. I'm going to take this wig off. I've had it on all day at work. Okay, so if you see a little discoloration up there, whatever, but y'all already know. So I'm just going to toss this wig off to the side. I'm going to fix my wig cap. I might have to fix my makeup right there too. So this little piece will not let me be great. So I'm going to put this on before I cut the lace. Okay, and it is supposed to be a side part. I'm going to hope that I don't look like no granny. And yeah, as I suspected, suspected this wig is small. OMG. I guess this wig is for like, and see, you see that's the lace right there. I can barely pull it like all the way on my head. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off. I thought I could kind of put it on without cutting the lace yet and that's not going to happen. So, um, with this type of lace, you just kind of got to like, just cut it. You can't just, it's hard to get technical with this kind of lace and with this kind of hair. So, um, I'm just going to cut it. I'm not, I'm just literally just cutting the lace just regularly. It's hard to like customize it and do all that with this, uh, with this type of hard lace. And I know because I have worked with it before, hard lace before. So I'm just going to cut all the way around the perimeter and yeah, I may have to cut a little bit more off. Uh, like I said, it, I am having a difficulty putting it on my head. <sighs> That's the only thing I don't like. Um, a lot of regular wigs do not fit my head. And yeah, so just be mindful of that. Okay, it fits a little bit better now that I've cut that, that lace off. And I do have a mirror, guys. So if you do see me like looking down or what have you, I'm always looking in a mirror. So I, I'm going to have to put like replace my makeup right there on my hairline uh it is a it is a bit too small but what i do most of the time y'all to be honest i don't lay the back of my hair down all the way um and that kind of makes it that makes it fit um 
it makes it fit a little bit better now with these wigs i don't know if this wig's supposed to be like lopsided like that or what or maybe i just need to kind of okay yeah i just kind of got to play with it and say oh uh, yeah no <laughs> we ain't doing that so let's get straight into it i'm going to start plucking this part and on wigs like this i like to do the pull method rather than just like plucking so that's what we're gonna do but so far i am really liking this look i just don't get like i have it pulled all the way down in the back i'm not really understanding why one side is appears to be longer than the other i'm not i'm not understanding that is this how it's supposed to go i can't even find a picture but i don't think that's how it's supposed to go if it does look like that i'll just go in it is like coming out i'll just go in and cut um cut when i need to so like i said on these wigs i'm going to do the pull method um like i said on these you can't get too technical with uh trying to like plug and all that no nah. and it doesn't lay as flat and then it's gonna be kind of hard to pull these hairs out i don't know what they put these the hairs in with but it's kind of hard to like uh pull the hairs out so that's all I'm going to be doing is just going in and pulling out the hairs. And they are tough as Hades. Okay, so I'm just letting y'all know that now if you're pulling and um, it's hard to pull, just take smaller sections and uh, and pull and you'll be Come back. And the only thing I did was I just plucked my part to my liking. I don't want to open my part up too, too much just a little bit i don't want to do anything too crazy okay so all we're gonna do is i'm gonna try to kind of like play with this a bit um i kind of moved it over to the side a little more um it seems like the more i move it up to the side the more this side is like not you know it's shorter so i'm thinking the way that it's supposed to go is probably like mid mid like that I don't really want it to be like that. I just kind of really like, I think it's supposed to be like mid face, like, like that. Let's see. All right. I don't know. I don't really want it to be that way. I want it, I kind of want it to be like, which this is cute. This is like really executive. Like I kind of want it to be on the side a little bit more, but this, this doesn't really look bad, but let's see. I'm going to play. You just, this is just one of the type of things that you really got to play with y'all like play with how you want to play with you know so but it is made to to be not all the way on the side like that so that's 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 how i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna just wear it how it's made to be i'm gonna just move it over to the side just a little bit let's see because you want to accommodate the wig and i can tell it's not supposed to be like a deep uh a deep side part it's just supposed to be like a you know halfway like part so all right i don't know how i feel about that so i'm just fixing to play with it to kind of see how i want it how i like it and stuff like that this wig is freaking curled perfectly i think that that is awesome as hell so i'm just gonna go in and i'm just using my fingers i'm not gonna use any kind of like brush or anything yet i'm just gonna use my fingers to kind of fluff out these curls and i'm just gonna try to make the curls not as uh defined and try to make them look like not so fakey like so let's go in with like a brush and i by no means want to ruin the curls but I do want to like, I want to play with them because I want them to look more like a flatter curl. You know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? Okay. So what we're going to, like, you really don't have to do much with this wig. I mean, it's, it's kind of done for you. But also what I want to do is I want to make this part look a little more natural. Y'all know I'm all about that. So I'm going to go in with this, this holy grail. All right. And I'm just going to use a little bit on like a little brush. Be real careful with this. What I suggest is uh, putting it underneath your lace. And so that's what we're going to do. And don't pay attention to that up there. So all I'm going to do is, and when you put it underneath the lace, 
it just kind of makes it look uh, like a whole lot better than putting it, than vice versa, like putting it on top. And sometimes I'll still put it on top, but putting it underneath the lace, I'm sorry, y'all couldn't see, helps like a lot more. I would rather put like some sort of powder or something underneath the, uh, I mean on top of the lace. All right, so you're just gonna put it as much in there as you can or want to or whatever you think looks legit to you. I think that that looks pretty all right to me. So, let's do this. And even if it does look crazy, don't worry about it. You can fix it, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I can tell by the way it's made. It's definitely not made to go all the way off to the side like I want it. So. But I don't think that, that looks bad. It's made to kind of like. Yeah, I don't think that looks bad. I just, I just don't know. But, uh, but yeah, that's what the part looks like. Uh, I'm going to add a little powder because. Oh, um, I need to kind of dim down what it looks like and I'm just using the I'll show y'all in just a second I'll show y'all what what powder I'm using all right so I'm just using this Milani powder to kind of bring things together and to kind of make it look good okay so now that we've done that I do know with these hard lace type of wigs and I'm just combing with just a regular brush I do know with these um uh, Wigs, it is hard to lay like a uh, baby hair. So yeah, this is what I'ma do. Hoo -hoo! Baby, who is she? Okay, who is she with the $40 wig on? Somebody better tell them about me, baby. Somebody better tell them about the e-baby. So I'm just gonna fix this. Oh, and somebody better tell them that I done cut my hair. So, somebody better tip. Okay, you know what? <laughs> so, this is what it's gonna look like. Make sure I get those flyaways away. I'm really feeling this. Okay, if you would like to, you can even like cut that bang, cut your bang if you want to. However, I'm not because I kind of appreciate the way it's kind of looking like this. Now, I know that it's hard to lay, and you can lay this down with some glue. It ain't gonna really lay too well if you use something mild like Gosta to, to Be. The hard lace is more for like some kind of like tough, tough glue, like the tough elastic -y like glue. So, please keep that in mind. So, anyways, what I'm going to do is, like I said, it's hard to lay baby hair, but I'm going to try. I need to go get some uh, some powder. Let me see. Maybe some of my Milani powder would kind of cover up where, I'm, where I don't have any makeup right there. It might be too light. It covered up too light. All right, because I don't really want to go all the way in the other room to get any powder. So, we're going to see if we can lay baby hairs. I know it's not gonna be easy, but I kind of I like to lay baby hairs like right where the part is. That's where I like to lay my um, baby hairs because it kind of helps to kind of like hide that part a little bit more whenever you lay it like that. y'all saw i'm back what i had to end up doing is using a little bit of this i don't like this to lay edges i really really don't but when you're working with wigs like this that have like a mixed fibers and things like that this stuff is really strong versus this eco gel this is more for like your real hair or if like you're working with some human hair if you're working with something that you need to slick them down quick use this okay another good thing to use i don't use it often but it's like a little secret holy grail More Morning Glory holds down edges like like edges like nobody's business. I don't recommend doing that for every day, which if you put it on one time, it'll last you for like a week or two. Your edges will. But uh but yeah, morning glory. That's what the girls use for the quick weaves uh to put underneath their hair so when they get quick weaves. So that's good too when you're holding down like some really, really tough hair. Okay. So, anyways, this is the finished look. 
I didn't do any cutting. I'm going to kind of fluff this side out of it, though. But as y'all can see, I didn't do any cutting. This wig is pretty much just fresh out the box. Okay, y'all didn't really see me do too much to it. And for $40, this is a really good buy. I did not, and I am not sponsored. I purchased this myself and all that. So don't think, oh, did you get sent the wig? No, I'm not affiliated with Model, 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 or anything like that. I just bought this to bring to y'all some cheaper alternatives. So anyways, like I was saying, I think that this is perfect. We all want this color, but we don't feel like spending all this money on box dyes or a door hair color. No, I ain't got no time for it. Okay, so and then plus we tend to over bleach our hair sometimes. I just can't stop messing with it. I think it's it's awesome. I think I didn't even have to put powder on. It. I had some powder right by me because I thought I was gonna have to put powder on it because it was too uh it may have been too shiny. But this right here. It is it's not too shiny. It looks like human freaking hair. Okay, this 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 almost don't make no sense. So, anyways, yes. Um, I'm just gonna move my bank over a little bit. Like, yeah, I can't. I just I just can't. I can't. And I don't even. This is what's so crazy, y'all. I don't like short hair. I don't feel like it compliments my face. But I think that this makes me look older. Like, I think it makes me kind of look like a mom. Like, I'm just, I'm like, I'm like a glam mama. Like, people say glam mom. But I'm like a glam mommy. Like, I feel so, like, executive. If I ever go to court, girl, this is going to be my core wig. Okay? Look at it. Look at it. Look. Just look at how it looks. I don't know how the back looks. Don't judge me. I haven't looked at the back yet. But ju just look. Look at the front. Let's not focus on the back. Look at the front. I am really, really, really loving this. I didn't have to hassle trying to, you know, dye this hair and then put it in. It even has like tones in it. So it looks like it's been toned. I didn't have to do any of this. All I did was bought this wig for $40 and I did this. Okay. I didn't have to work with no cutting, no doing none of that. You know, I just really like this, y'all. Like, I think that this is really, really cute. And I really, y'all, if y'all can see my setup, I can't prepare. I got curlers hooked up over here. I got all kind of cutting stuff over here. I got holding spray. Every, I was so ready to tackle this wig head on. Like, I was like, you know what? I'm going in. That's exactly how I felt before sitting down to make this video. But it really wasn't that serious because this wig is pretty much fresh out the pack. And look at that. Look at that part. And just by just by a few little mild baby hairs, I didn't even lay a lot of baby hairs. And that's what we looking like. Look at it. Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? Cause this is not Aaron, okay? You know what? Call me Miss Ross. <laughs> Call me Miss Ross. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry, who? <laughs> Aaron who? No, I'm Miss Ross. I'm the CEO. <laughs> How are you? This kind of hair make you want to change the way you talk. How are you? Yes, welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> OMG. I just, I'm sorry, I love this. I'm not going to hold y'all too long, but let me just give you all the ending specs of the wig. I did throw the packaging on the ground, so give me just one second, and I will give y'all the ending specs of the wig, and we'll wrap everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I can't show y'all the whole box because, I mean, it's really pointless. This is all I need to really wrong way this is all i need to really show you all all the specs of the wig and you know everything so let me just go ahead and wrap it all up because on this series i won't be doing like um any kind of um second hand reviews or coming back to let you know like you know how it's holding up or whatever i may post on like instagram or something or the community tab but um yeah it's just gonna be like an all-in-one type of review with these sort of videos so anyways this is from the company model 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 <laughs> this is from the company model model okay it's called lace front that's what their lace front series because they had some more and uh they have like half weeks they got all kind of stuff so I have the style AT212. That is a big deal because in the store they had a lot of other ones, but it wasn't in this particular style. And I actually picked up the wrong one at first and I had to go back and get it. So this is what it is called. AT212. That's the style. 
here is the color that I got. Now, they also have other different colors, as you can see here. And I may be trying like a more like natural, which this is very natural, but I may just try like a, a regular black or a regular brown. And um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna look exactly like my hair because this looks exactly like my hair. Like, I think that this is just awesome. So anyways, yes, this wig was, um, I spent $40 and of course it was tax added onto that, but that's how much it was in my beauty supply store. I'm pretty sure you can find this wig anywhere, Amazon, eBay, Sam's Beauty, places like that. But I just got this locally, like I said, at my beauty supply store and it was $40. Look y'all, I'm gonna keep it all the way funky with you. Okay. And y'all know that's what I do. For $40, this ain't a bad buy. Okay. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's, it sheds a little bit. I ain't got like no snags and all like that. It's just a little bit. I can't complain. And the reason why I can't complain is because the wig is affordable. It was easy to work with. It's nice. It looks good. I can't complain. I'm not out of a whole bunch of money. Like I can see if I would have bought this from one of these big major wig companies and of course I would be like really judging this wig hard. But the simple fact is that it's like... I mean, next to nothing. It's not a lot. And I say next to nothing compared to if I would have bought this from a big brand. Even with this length and with the color included and the highlights and all that, honestly, I would have I would have came out of like three, four hundred dollars, let alone it could be five to six hundred dollars. Okay. I went it's a wig site on Instagram where their wigs are in the thousands. Okay. And you can get something like this and it'll probably be like two thousand dollars. Okay, so I can't really complain about a little shedding here. I can't really complain maybe about a little tangling, which I haven't had tangling. I just had a little shedding, but it was it, it's nothing crazy, okay? And I can't just judge this wig real hard because it was affordable. It was affordable. I love affordable, and it looked so natural. Can't nobody tell me that this is not my hair, okay? Don't tell me because it is. It's mine. It, it's growing on my scalp. It's mine. It, it's mine. <laughs> okay, end of discussion. This is my hair. <laughs> so I, I'm just saying, like, I'm really loving it. It's super lightweight. I mean, it don't even feel like I got nothing on my head. Look at this parting space. Look at it. I think that that parting space is perfect. Okay, it is long enough for you to play with. It looks natural. It looks like a natural part. Like, if I parted my hair, that's how much I would part my hair. Okay, and I just love it. I didn't have to do anything. I have to recurl this unit. I didn't have to like flatten it. I didn't have to do any of that. This is the perfect get up and go wig. Okay, everyday work wig. You work in the office, whatever you do, it's perfect. You want to put your hair away for a little while or whatever the case may be. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Then they have all different kind of colors for you. It comes in these nice tight curls. I just, I just really love it. You can wear the bang how you want to. If I want to wear the bang like up like that, I could do it. I don't prefer that style. Or I like it like this. And like I was showing you, I like it like this. And you can even cut it to kind of like to your liking. You can cut it to your liking or cut it however you, you want to. But this right here, y'all, come on now. I just. I just really love it and I'm gonna log off because I'm gonna bore y'all because I'm gonna keep on telling y'all how much about how much I love this I'm raving about this wig like I done got sponsored okay I'm raving about this wig like they cut me a check and model model don't even know me okay model model don't know nothing about Aaron Ross okay you know but I just I'm, I'm really loving this and I think it's I think it's what's up. I think it's what's up. And I'm very, very, very excited to bring y'all some of the other things that I have picked up and some of the other things that I have seen, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. This video is long and I am very talkative in this video because I really want y'all to grasp the aspect of the video and why I'm bringing the series to the channel. You know, beauty on a budget is, is what I'm all about. So I just really wanna bring it to the channel to kinda, I, I wanna reach out to everybody. I wanna be relatable to everybody on my channel. And that's what I really want to do. I don't want people to feel like I have to have a lot of money to watch Erin. Because you don't. I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> okay. I work a regular job. A regular, really, not 9 to 5, but 8 to 5 job. Okay. So, um, we, we in the same boat, baby. You ain't got to spend thousands of dollars on a week, five, six hundred dollars on a week to look good. So that's why I'm bringing out this series because I want to relate to everybody. I want to reach out to everybody and I want everyone to feel included. I don't want anyone to feel excluded or feel like they can't get the look because you can't get the look, baby. And guess who finna get you get the look? It's me, your girl E. No, I'm sorry. 
Miss Ross. <laughs> will help you get the look okay so anyways y'all let me know what you think about this series and let me know what you think about this wig will you be purchasing this wig will you think about purchasing this wig how does it look to y'all does it make me look weird does it make me look funny do you like these kind of videos do you think you're gonna like these kind of videos and you know all that spill in the comments and we will definitely discuss and yeah i'll see y'all in my next one bye